Hello, all my fellow small business owners. I finally figured out how to add page tabs to your free Canva website. And I'm gonna be showing you guys a quick tutorial on how to do just that. Hello everyone, my name is Mariah. I am a fellow small business owner. And on this channel, I like to give you guys business tips, business advice, and new grant opportunities. If that interests you, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all of my new content. So if you haven't already seen my video on how to create a free website using Canva, go ahead and check it out right now. I have gotten a lot of questions on how to, you know, like when you first go to a website and you see at the top bar, it just has a list of different pages like about or shop. I finally figured out how to do it on Canva. After doing a little research, I feel like it's something new because I'm on Canva a lot and they have just been adding a lot of new features. I'm going to try to break it down really simple for you so you can easily add pages. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is head on over to our Canva app. And this is my little example website that I have been using for all of my Canva website videos. This is my Bear Love clothing brand. We're going to go ahead and select to edit the design. Now, please, if you don't understand what's going on, I highly recommend that you go check out my video on how to create the website so you know what I'm doing step by step. And just a reminder, wherever you place anything on the Canva website is where it's going to show up on the website. I want to add a about page for this website. So the first thing I'm going to do is select text. I'm going to add a header and this is my logo. I want to line it up with my logo. So it's at the top of the page, but I want to put it on the right side of the page. I want to make sure that's the same font as the bear love. So all I'm going to do is hover over it, click. I use Anton for that. So we're going to change this to Anton and I want to make it white. We're just going to put about. So this is going to be the about tab. And just so people know that you can click on this, I'm just going to add like a circle or an oval shape. The next thing I'm going to do is go to element and I'm going to type in oval and I want to add this one right here. Minimize it. Drag it over to the about. Now I'm going to layer it. I'm going to send it to the back of the about. I'm going to change the oval color to a different color so you can see the about like that. Oh, I'm going to put about us. And I'm going to go ahead and publish the website. We're going to select to view website. And you see right here, it has about us and it's going to be at the top just where we want it. And then you'll repeat the same process for if you want a shop page, if you want a review page. Okay, so now we're going to click out this. We're moving on to the next step. You can either duplicate this website right here if you want to use like the same colors or whatever. So for this example, I'm just going to create a new website so you guys can see how to do it from start to finish. So what we're going to do is go home. We're going to press create a design. We're going to type in website. We're going to press this first website link right here. This is going to be the about page for your website. The first thing I want to show you how to do is add that same domain so it's connected to the website or you can add a domain that you already own. Tip, if you are going to use this website and you want to turn it into a professional business website, I highly recommend whatever your business name is, purchase the domain. You don't want to grow and you're using a free Canva domain and then a year down the road you're growing and you decide to go get your domain and then you find out the name that you want to use for your domain is Tooken. I have seen this happen a lot. People just start their business and then they want to create a website and then their domain is Tooken and then it just causes a lot of issues. So don't let that happen to you. So I highly recommend purchasing your domain. The next thing we're going to do is select publish website. Okay. Now from here, you can use a free Canva domain, purchase a new domain through Canva or use an existing domain. For one of my websites, I purchased a new domain through Canva and it worked out great. I still use it now for my bare love clothing. I previously used a free Canva domain. So if you press this option, it's going to bring up your free Canva domain. If you press to purchase, of course, you'll type in the domain 
domain you want. It'll show you if that domain is already took it or if you could purchase it. If you are using a existing domain, you can add the domain from whatever website you use to purchase your current domain. We're going to select free domain, press continue. This is bearloveclothing.mycanvay.site and that's going to be for this website right here. We're going to put about us. This is what I'm meaning. If you're growing, people are going to have a hard time remembering and trying to find this domain right here. So let's just say if it was bearloveclothing.com slash about us, that is gonna be more easy to find. It's gonna be a lot harder to find bearloveclothing.my.canva.site slash about us, all right? So that's just one thing I really want to make sure you guys understand. And the more simple it is, of course, customers are going to remember it. And the higher you're going to rank in the SEO, because .com obviously is going to be the most popular type of domain. This is not. Just keep that in mind. Remember to always put a website description. That's going to help your offsite SEO. Of course, if you don't know what SEO is, it's search engine optimization. And that's what helps you get ranked in different search engines, such as the biggest one, Google. And we'll just leave it like that. Now we're going to publish and the website is now live. Okay. So we're going to go back in and edit the design. I want to just look at the current website and get some ideas from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the color to this color right here. Now I'm going to put about us again at the top and I'm just going to add a few little things just so it looks presentable for you guys. And then I want to go back and add my logo. So you can easily do this by copying this design right here. Move this back. I want this to be sync with the bare love clothing. And then let me just go ahead and add like a picture. Let's see. And then next I want to add something down here. Okay. And then of course, before anyone asks to add another page to your website, you'll just press add page. And now I want to add a video. So we'll go back to element, go to shopping. That's cute. And we'll leave it like that. We're going to go ahead and preview the website. And this is what it looks like when people or on there. I like it. It's just basic. Okay. And then this is what it looks like on the phone. So you see it's right at the top. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and publish the website again. Whenever you get done finishing with your design, continue and publish. So this is the exciting part. Next step, you're going to press view website. You're going to copy this link up here. Go back to your main page. Make sure if it's save, edit design, and we're going to go over here and we're going to scroll down to link, paste the link to this tab right here. If you don't like the underline, all you have to do is hover over the words, press it and unselect this U underline. And to make sure that this whole button is functioning, we're going to hover over the oval button design and add the link as well. All right, so next we're going to publish website. All right, we're going to go to view website. And then from there, you'll press the about us and it will take you to the about us page. Of course, there's a lot more that goes into this. This is just an example website, so it does not look that good, but this is going to be how you add page tabs to your website and it looks nice and neat. And this is something you can easily do by yourself on the computer using the Canva app. You'll just keep repeating this process. If you would like a shop page, add a shop page. If you would like a review page, add a review page. That is it for today's video. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a like. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure you comment them down below. And for more, make sure you subscribe.